I created the model in ZBrush. If you've seen Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, you know Niffler loves shiny things, especially money. So I sculpted him holding a galleon, which is a currency from the Harry Potter universe. I did my best to sculpt it to look as if it was carved out of wood. I already have a wand from Universal Studios, and I want to make the Niffler the same size as the skull on it. I can size it down in my slicing software to the proper size. And then a few hours later, I have a completed figure on my 3D printer. Next, I'm going to make a two-part mold of the character. I've added clay to create sprues so that air bubbles don't get trapped in things like the fingers or the bottom of the bill. Next, I create a mold box out of foam. It's not a very precise process, I just eyeball it and build out a quick box. I glue gun the whole thing together so that it's watertight. Next I need to put clay under one half of the model in order to support it and let us pour the first half of the silicone into the top. Layer by layer I pack it in and I make sure it has a really nice clean edge against the character. I'm adding registration keys to make sure that the two pieces of silicone fit together nicely once we're ready to pour the resin. I'm using Moldmax 14NV silicone. Here I'm mixing it together. I'm going to pour it from up high to reduce bubbles, just letting it go all over the model and fill things in. A few hours later, once that's done, I'm going to cut the bottom out and take away all that clay except for the sprues that we added. Here you can see the registration key is pretty prominent. I need to add one more sprue for the tail because air bubbles will get trapped underneath that. Next I use a lot of mold release to make sure that the silicone doesn't stick together when I pour the second half. And then a few hours later it's time to demold. Silicone pulls apart pretty nicely because of all the re release we used. And like that, we have a pretty nice two-part mold ready to cast.